pizza. Did somebody say pizza? Not really, but what's close enough to pizza? Flatbread. All right, so let's get this bread out of the way here. I was about to say that Tavala is bringing us their first pizza, but it's not really a pizza, it's a flatbread. You know what? Your two-year-old's not gonna know the difference, and you might not either. So let's uh, let's take a look at Tavala's first offering, and not their last, because I've looked at the schedule ahead for the next few weeks, and there's a flatbread on the menu every week for weeks to come. I've actually already ordered those and put them in my, in my cart, if you will, for future shipping. But today we've received the first Tavala flatbread, not pizza, but again, close enough. It is the barbecue chicken, corn and onion flatbread. And it comes packaged with an arugula salad with buttermilk ranch. So, I mean, literally this is a, this is a trip to your favorite pizza joint with a, a little bit unique of a pizza, if you will, or a flatbread. Let's uh, unbox it and see what's included in this set. The uh, picture shows a little side salad and what this is gonna look like prepared. Inside the packaging, you've got the flatbread, which we have right here. You've got the cheddar and mozzarella blend, blend, barbecue sauce. The chicken, corn, and onion mixture is basically already like put together in a tray. And the arugula leaves, if you will, do not cook. The buttermilk ranch, buttermilk ranch for the salad, don't cook that either. And the pickle red onions, not sure exactly where those go. We'll find out in a second whether they go on the pizza or the flatbread, if you will or in the salad, but uh, yeah, let's unpackage all the ingredients. So if you're new to Tovala, um, it is my favorite, favorite, favorite smart oven. And the reason behind that is because it comes with this meal delivery service. I mean, you have to pay for it, of course, but uh, it's one of the options that's available. Super affordable meals such as this one are 12 bucks delivered to your door fresh every week. Nothing is frozen and it takes just the headache out of going to the grocery store, thinking about what you're gonna eat, um, cooking it, prepping it, everything's diced and sliced and everything, and it takes, yeah, 15, 20, 30 seconds to prep. In some cases, a minute or two, if it's a complex recipe, like perhaps this one might be, but that's it. And once you stick it in the oven, you literally have what they call tovala time. In this case, you'll have 11 minutes and 25 seconds of tovala time. That's time in your life that you could never get back. So again, I am not a paid spokesperson for tovala, it's just something I love. This is our lifestyle channel, Keys Life, where I basically make content videos about everything that I use on a daily basis. And I get eight to 10 Tavala meals delivered every week to my door. There is a link in the comments below for $150 off. And uh, so if you do like this video and love how this works, check it out, try it out. And uh, probably one of the most affordable smart ovens on the planet. And again, I can say so because on this channel, look for the links in the comments and probably popping up in the cards right now over here. We have tested the June oven, the Anova oven, the Brava oven, every smart oven that currently sits on the market we've tested on this channel. So look for those links that might've popped up right now. And uh, without further ado, back to the flatbread, right? So we've got the arugula salad here. Again, what I love about Tavala is Everything is portioned out, like really, and it's good healthy portion size. Look at that, it's packed in there. So when you put this into a bowl, you're gonna see it's fresh. Look at that, I mean, there's nothing like withering away or dying on this. It's nice and green and it's packaged in this container already pre-washed. And then if you dig into here, you'll find your protein at the bottom. In this case, it's the chicken with the corn. Um, and the box just folds flat for recycling and you can put it in your recycling and or your trash can as however you do in your household. I recommend recycling, of course, but you know, who am I to judge? Um, here we go. So we have the pickled onions. Again, go to the grocery store, buy an onion, put it in you know, the brine and pickle it for 24 hours. And then you know, to chop it up just to get this, forget all that headache. It's fresh, it's delivered to your door. Cheese, just enough. So you're not buying that eight pound bag at Costco and throwing away five pounds of it when it's growing mold on it just enough for your flatbread. And I, I've done that. I literally bought like two four pound bags of mozzarella so I could make homemade pizza with my daughter. I swear to God, one of those bags ended up in the trash completely. And the other one was, you know, half full green and molding and, and disgusting. It smelled like horrible. And you've all been there. I know you've been there. So um, let's use this little fancy like uh, pizza tray here to um, prepare this. So. 
This is one of the very unique recipes. First one actually that I've had to use that requires us to use the Tovala tray that comes shipped with this. Let me see, oh, it's in here. What do you know? The team had everything ready for me. So let's not set this. We'll use this for plating later on, right? I think that'd be pretty cool to pull it out and do that. Let's get a sheet of foil. Bear with me real quick. Now, if you don't use foil sheets and you use a roll of foil, this is like a lifesaver. I mean, look at this. I just walked over there right now, ready to go and practically sized perfectly for the um, Tobala tray right here. I will link that in the comments below. So here we go. Put the flat bread over there. And um, it says if you don't have foil, you should spray the tray with some cooking spray to make it nonstick basically. Um, making two of these at once, no need for the sheet tray, put the foil directly in the oven rack because you wouldn't be able to fit two of these, but you would if you did it in there. So if you're making two at the same time, that's another cool thing with the Tovala meals. If it's you and a lover, or if it's you and your, your kid, or you're just really hungry and you wanna make two of these at the same time, whether it's this or any other meal, you can do two meals at the same time in the Tovala oven. Um, make sure they're the same type of meal because the cooking sequence will differ by different types of meals. So don't try and make a, a salmon and a flatbread at the same time. That's not gonna work. The um, barcode on the back is specifically programmed to go through a cooking sequence for the food that you're preparing. We'll get to that in a second. So yeah, um, let's see. Set aside the arugula, don't cook it, of course. Unwrap the flatbread, place it on the sheet tray. We just did that. Spread the barbecue sauce onto the flatbread. So let me get some scissors and perhaps a spoon and we'll keep rocking and rolling. Here we go. Here's the barbecue sauce right here. I like to just cut off a little triangle corner anytime I have sauce, so it makes it easier to just kind of like spread and pour rather than dumping it all in one place. You can do it however you like. You can use a, like a basting brush if you want to get an even spread. I think just by starting off like this and getting it kind of evenly spread everywhere, and if you really are, you know, anal about it, yep, I use that word, um, then you can use the back of a spoon and get it like nicely spread around. So. Of course, at the very end, I end up getting barbecue sauce on my fingers. So let's take a break and wash my hands. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. With clean hands. All right, so there we go. Barbecue sauce on there. Um, leaving a small border. Uh-oh, I didn't really pay attention to that part about leaving a small border for a sauce-free section. Personally, I don't know about you. I like when my ingredients and sauces and cheese go to the edge, right? I don't want, I just don't want like bread on the end. So that works. Um, evenly spread the chicken, corn, and onion onto the flatbread, and then sprinkle the cheese on top of it. Put in the oven, flip the barcode, and hit scan. So let's, um, let's just kind of spread this around with the back side of a spoon. That way we get that evenly spread out. Again, kind of an unnecessary step because I did spread it out quite well. We'll set the spoon over here. I like to shake up the tovale ingredients usually, whether they go directly in the tray or in this case all over this, just to kind of loosen it up when it's sticking in one clump. We're gonna take advantage of this spoon that I have right here and, uh, and use it to um, hopefully evenly spread some of these ingredients all over. Let's do this really quickly because I don't want this video to be too long. You guys wanna see this flatbread get done and I wanna eat this flatbread. So we're both on the same page right here. You know, barbecue chicken pizzas are really popular at a lot of, uh, a lot of restaurants in my area. We've got BJ's, uh, which is a pizza restaurant, brewery and um, a lot of other places really popular. So um, I think this is gonna be an interesting recipe. I like that this is the first choice they did. Um, I'm otherwise not a huge fan of barbecue, honestly. I like, I like different flavors and the barbecue sauce is usually very sweet, but uh, I think it works well. Another option that I do quite some time on the Tobala meals is I'll put like extra seasoning, salt, pepper, some um, prohibited pantry seasoning brands, which is a, a, a line that we own and we're launching publicly soon. Um, and, uh, or even like in this case, sliced jalapenos or something if you're, if you're a fan of having some kick, right? And um, let's see here, the cheese. So let's go with that. Try and get it evenly spread everywhere. I want it on the flatbread and not on the pan, even though it always makes for some fun. So we'll just use my hand here real quick. So this happens to be one of those Tobala recipes that's gonna require more than 30 seconds of prep. It's more like, you know, a couple minutes here, basically two to three minutes. But I think this is fun. And if you do have kids at home or, you know, you're trying to actually do something in the kitchen and pretend like you, you made a meal, 
this one will give you that satisfaction there. For the pickled onions, it says, um, this is for a bright contrast after the fact. I would almost say that we could probably put them on right now and they would get that kind of like, you know, the cooked onion feel, but again, they're pickled. So we'll leave them off and we'll try it after the fact, like the, um, like the recipe recommends. The buttermilk dressing is for the salad. So we'll prepare that later too. So here we go. That's it. Your flatbread is prepped. Um, you scan the barcode over here, hit scan. Put that in front of the scanner. You'll see 11 minutes and 25 seconds as per the menu card. Let's go ahead and pop this in there and close the oven and hit start. That's it. Like I mentioned, 11 minutes and 25 seconds of Tawala time. In this case, today it's a weekday. I'm gonna go rock out a couple emails in the next few minutes while you guys sit here and watch this thing cook in fast forward, high speed action. We're gonna roll it really fast right now and we'll be back in a few minutes to prep that salad and take this flatbread out of the oven and taste test it and see if it's uh, something that you should add to your next Tawala order. We'll see you soon. It's almost time, almost time. We've got, oh, nine seconds, eight, seven. I feel like I'm like an astronaut going to outer space. Not really, just making flatbread pizza. Anyways, there's the lovely beeping sound. I love hearing that because it means my food is ready. And I'll tell you, every time I'm making food, I'm already hungry. So um, this silicone spatula is really silly. I'm gonna make a video probably in the next week or two of like the top 10 like random kitchen gadgets and tools that I have that I use every day. And this silly spatula, cause it's this rock solid, good handle, silicone flexible thing, metal. I mean, I, good, you have to have a good turner if you will, or spat, some people call it spatula, a turner. And um, let's go ahead and get this guy out. Look at that. You can see the steam coming out of the oven a little bit. And um, let's, uh, let's kind of pull this out here. This is rigid enough where you can, you know, like I said, you can pull this thing tray forward. Uh, we do have the, the thing that came with the Tawala oven and I have a little, little silicone mitt. So let's use this just so I don't get burned accidentally. Let's pull that out. Look at that. That's beautiful. Really perfectly done. I've, you know, and this is not like a, an otherwise like a, you know, thousand dollar pizza oven. This is just a affordable $300 smart oven and you can get it for 150 by using the link in the comments guys let's set this down over here look at that lovely and let's throw this tray and foil back in the oven just for now close that up goodbye all right here it is so like anything with pizza cheese whether you did it this way with the tawala oven or the tawala flatbread that you can get shipped to your door or even got one from Costco or something and you're putting in there, you always wanna let a pizza sit and rest for a couple of minutes, just like a, a good piece of protein, like a chicken or a steak. You wanna let it rest so it doesn't get all over the place as you're trying to slice it. So um, why don't we go ahead and prep the salad and maybe throw these onions on there in the meantime. So um, for the salad, I have a bowl. This bowl's rather large, but I, I always like using this larger bowl, this size bowl when I, I do a salad that comes with the tawala, because it gives me some room to shake things up if you know what I mean shake it shake it and um, like I had a Mediterranean salad that was a Tawala thing last night that had a chicken breast in it so I put the greens in there and I put the dressing I put the little pita chips and when the chicken came out of the oven I let it sit for a few minutes chopped it up and I put it in there and um, I put some saran wrap over it and I just shook the whole thing and that's personally how I like to toss the salad <laughs> quiet quiet and it just gets the dressing and everything coated everywhere so go go ahead and throw the greens in there as you can tell even this giant bowl and and it's pra practically filled it up so like i said you get you get a good amount of greens every time you uh, opt for a tobala salad option um, let's go ahead and put the buttermilk dressing in here real quick okay here we go squirt that on there Again, even with salad dressings, like I'm notorious. I remember when I was on one of my kicks to try and eat healthy and I went and bought like four different salad dressings and bought a bunch of <laughs> lettuce. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have a salad every day. Now, two days later, I was done having salad, by the way. And then the salad dressing bottle sat in my refrigerator. I expired God knows when, like two years ago. And you know, eventually I got around and being like, hey, I've got some ranch dressing or some Italian or some Caesar dressing in my refrigerator and I'm gonna go have a salad today now that it's been six months later and I go and pull it out and I'm like, 
oh, this shit expired, you know? So um, the good thing about Tawala is there's no waste. Yes, I mean, you might be like, oh, there's plastic and you know, I like hugging trees. But um, aside from that, like you're literally using as much ranch dressing as you need for this and there's nothing going in the refrigerator. There's nothing getting rotten or spoiled because we like to buy in bulk as Americans. So let's get a fork real quick. Um, lucky for me, everything's right here. And let's, let's toss the salad, guys. Um, um, again, like I said, I usually like to wrap this in um, saran wrap and shake it up, but uh, I don't have the saran wrap dispenser right next to me right now, so we'll uh, save that for another day. And you can just do it with a fork. Look, at there you go. The buttermilk dressing's tossed on that. Again, this is a really simple salad. There's nothing super creative. You can always improve things. You can add a little bit of fresh grated black pepper or um, some croutons or something if you so desire to make it your own. But I think this simple arugula and buttermilk dressing is gonna go great with the pizza. As far as these onions go, these are the pickled red onions right here. They do have like a little bit of that pickle juice, so you don't wanna get your, your um, pizza, you know, like all liquidy. So use a fork or something to strain that out and then just, I guess, just sprinkle them, sprinkle them around. And um, we'll do that for some color and some texture and flavor here. There we go. <laughs> this smells so good right now. And again, typical day here um, on set and in the office where I have no time. I didn't even eat breakfast today. So um, we are excited to be um, taste testing this here in a few minutes. Again, like I said, mentioned, there's gonna be this little pickle juice. So anytime you have um, something, a recipe, a towel recipe that includes that on the side, be very careful not to just pour it all over your meal. Um, and there we go, lovely. That is the flatbread pizza with the arugula salad, and um, I'm going to slice it up and we're gonna taste test it, so let's uh, let's do that. All right, we got this thing sliced up. I didn't wanna ruin the fancy like serving board here, so I moved it over to a, a Joseph Joseph cutting board, this little black ones that I love using here. I'm gonna put it back over there and make it look all fancy for presentation purposes. You got your you know lover coming over here like, hey, look what I did. I made you a, a homemade flatbread. <laughs> um, I did it all myself in 11 minutes and 25 seconds. Anyways, um, so yeah, here we are. Someone's at front door. Oh, look at that, someone's at front door. It's the pizza delivery person. Faster than you can get pizza delivered to your door, you have a flatbread tovala at home. No, it's not, the, not pizza delivery, but um, yeah, here we go. Let's uh, taste test this and see how that works out. A little bit of salad on the side. I think everybody on set wants to try this right now. Here you go. I'm taste testing this. I did just take a bite off camera and it's freaking delicious. I'll tell you, it's perfectly done. The cheese is melted. The barbecue sauce, because of the sugars in it, kind of like caramelizes and adds that thing. Corn, chicken, everything just works really good together. Mm. Just the way that Tobala oven made the flatbread crispy enough, but still soft in the center. That's perfect. The Flavors just go really well together. And um, as far as the salad goes, let's, uh, mm. arugula is a, it's a leaf that's like a little peppery, if you will. A little strong for some people's taste. I like the way it goes with it. It kind of, it does a nice little contrast that goes with the, the flatbread, but I gotta tell you, I'm enjoying the flatbread a lot more than the salad, because I'm a fatty. Mm. If you already have the Toal oven and you subscribe to their delivery service, throw a flatbread in your next weekly delivery. I promise you, you won't be disappointed unless it's some kind of weird flavor or something, but this is really good. Texture is perfect. I, I know my daughter is gonna really enjoy having these and um, I'm definitely gonna put them in there and having a salad will make you feel less guilty about having a pizza for lunch or dinner. And um, yeah, honestly, definitely in my opinion, two thumbs up for this, 100% add it to your next order. And again, if you're new to Tavala, I'm gonna pop up the link and the card to our review. It's a complete guide and an overview of unboxing, setting up, and cooking with the Toval Ovens. So watch that in that video and also in the comments below, you'll find a link to save $150 off the Toval Smart Oven, which literally makes it the most affordable smart oven in town. And you can try out their meal delivery service for a few weeks and see if you like it. And if not, you can cancel it if you hate it after that. This thing does things like cooking with Trader Joe meals and scanning like boxed you know, foods like Pop-Tarts and this and that and pizza rolls and God knows what other things, about seven, 800 rest, um, boxed foods that you can scan and cook with this, not just the Toval meals. And even if not, it's a great oven to just toast some toast in the morning or waffles or, or anything of that nature. It's, it's literally a smart oven with meal delivery service. So check all those links out below in the comments below. 
Comment below if you've tried any of the new Tavala flatbreads or any of the new premium options if you've been using Tavala for a while. If you like this video, smash that like button. Let's let YouTube know that you enjoy my content and other people know to watch it as well. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell if you love home tech, if you, if you have kids, if you're into fitness, if you're biohacking. I review things like the Whoop uh, strap here, the um, Tavala and all the other smart ovens. We're testing the Cooking Pal later today and actually making some mushroom risotto in one device. One device. So look for a link to the Cooking Pal um, video right here, right now. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. This is Keys Life, my lifestyle channel. My name is Jason Keys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. No, because it has the pepper. Yes, and it's really spicy. It's really spicy? Yes. I think I can handle it. Let me try. Wow. It's really spicy. Uh-oh. I need to get your water bottle. I'll be right back.